Mm. Hi, everyone. Welcome to PAX Online. And drink this, how to create game-themed cocktails you'll love. Uh, shout out to my backup dancers, Nika, Anya Combs, and Jerry Bellick. Uh, I suppose I could have given you guys a better introduction, but I could just let you do it yourself. Uh, Nika, you have great moves, so I don't want to interrupt you, but how about you go first? <laughs> Ooh, hi, my name is Nika Noor. I'm the executive director at the IGDA Foundation, where we do all things diversity and inclusion related. We support aspiring game developers around the world. Uh, and this year we support over uh, game developers in over 14 countries in a virtual conference. Um, am I talking about my game stuff? Are we, are we going there? You can go there, absolutely. Are we Give going there? A I'm so excited. Props. Come on. I'm here, yeah. I don't know why the backup dancers decided to stop when I started. Thank you. So the deal today is that anytime someone introduces, we are backup dancers because we are getting the energy on this panel. I'm super floored because Lynn has asked to come in and we're gonna make cocktails on whatever drinks my aspirational game inspiration. I don't know how to use words because it's a pandemic and I'm tired of using my words on Zoom, but is Ori and the Blind Forest. I love Ori and the Blind Forest so much because I just think it is like one of the most beautiful, amazing games that were ever made. I ended up playing Will of the Wisp when the global pandemic first started and just cried a lot, but I don't want to give away the spoiler. So, boom, that's my intro. Awesome. Um, let's just keep going clockwise then. Uh, Anya, you're next. Hi, I'm Anya. <laughs> I'm the director of games at Kickstarter. I'm based in New York City. I'm nervous and excited because I'm uh, lightweight, so <laughs> it doesn't take a lot for me to get slightly tipsy. Uh, I picked Dragon Age uh, because, I, that, you know, like so many of us, that game means a lot to me. It's a beautiful exploration. Uh, it's challenged a lot of things and that I've thought about myself and about games and about interactions with NPCs and things like that. So I, and I like spice and Lynn picked something that is very, very spicy for me. So I'm quite excited to create this concoction in front of me. Yay. All right, last but not least, Jerry. Hello, I'm Jerry Bellick. I'm an alternative control game designer and experimental game designer. I also make escape rooms and design weird interactive experiences. Um, so the game I picked is called Control. Maybe you've heard of it. It's bureaucracy wrapped in new weird supernaturalness. Uh, and I think that's a very delightful combo. Uh, so Lynn has made a very interesting beverage that I'm quite excited to make, and I'm so happy to be here. Um, yeah, let's do it. Hey. Uh, thank you all for being here. Uh, I'm Lynn. Uh, I own a company called Awkward Nerd Events. I almost got my own company wrong. <laughs> Awkward Nerd Events. We do pop-up game-themed events, everything from small to large. Our biggest event that we're known for is Yule Ball. Um, and I freaking love cocktails, and I love basing them around the fandoms that I'm very passionate about. Um, so this was a really great opportunity to connect with all of you. Um, and share some of that love through a online medium. Uh, this is not something PAX would have ever let us do <laughs> in the past. So I'm super happy that they, they said, okay, you've got the green light. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. Let's, so let's make some cocktails um, and also stop dancing because I, I I'm so tired. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. It's so hot. <laughs> it's so hot. Yeah. Oh. Wearing right. house slippers too, so my feet are... <laughs> All right, so we're going to start with, uh, with Nika's cocktail. Uh, Nika's cocktail is actually a mocktail. So for anyone who is interested in abstaining from alcohol, no judgment on our part. In fact, we'd like to welcome you to a new world of really exciting, wonderful cocktails. Um, so I'm your sober fun person today. You I are. I will drive you anywhere when it's safe to do so. Just, all right. All right, Lynn, what am I? All right. Yay. <laughs> Okay. 
Get started with Nika's. Showing them the, the weird blue flowers. Can I eat these, Lynn? Like, if I just eat them? Did you smell Can that? Can I eat it? I'm hungry. Oh. oh. Why, why would you do that? <laughs> Actually, um, they're not bad. So these are the blue ice cubes that I'm showing from the top down right now. Um, and <laughs> Nika is enjoying her. Every, no, you you are going to turn blue, woman. <laughs> A fun, healthy snack for everyone. <laughs> is it? Oh, it is. It is blue. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> How come everything you have is fancy? And I've got like Ziploc bags. And random pickle jars that I've turned into mason jars. No, this Nika, is a, the this Ziploc exactly. of class. <laughs> this is exactly what you should be doing. Like, cocktails is not about being as fancy as you possibly can. And I know a lot of people get very intimidated by, oh, well, I don't have this you know, fancy strainer, or I don't have this exact thing that I want. Add to your collection little by little. Um, these bottles that I'm using for simple syrup came from the dollar store. So, I mean, you can absolutely put things together. I'm really happy that you got creative with this and you use things that were in your kitchen because that's all you have. Nobody can expect you to go out and spend hundreds of dollars on this just to make a couple of cocktails. So. Yeah, so I put the ice cubes in here and then I smash them with a the shoe, like a big shoe, and then I put it back in there, but then there's like holes down the Ziploc. So I've got like blue liquid all over my desk. Nika, do you have boots that are made for stomping? I have boots that are made for walking and mocktail making. You're welcome. By the way, I recommend putting your stompable Ziploc baggy ice in another Ziploc after. Otherwise, you will get blue liquid all over your technology. So this is a really great situation over here. Also, the flowers are very tasty. So for what it's worth, they are edible. I thought they smelled kind of funky, to be honest. I was like... They taste better than they smell. Okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> I, was, I was like... Ain't that always the way. I use, right. I've used these before, but I never smelled them before. And I was just like, ooh, they're, they're a little bit tart smelling. I was not expecting that. Yeah. All right, Nika, you ready for this? We're going to build your cocktail. Okay, what do I do? All right, so you're going to take a glass. Any glass. Doesn't matter. I've got a few options. Which one do we prefer? The Whatever is jar or the jar, the thing with the bullet in it? How about the taller, thinner one? I don't have a thin glass. So, all right. The all one in this hand. <laughs> yeah. Out of the two options, I mean the taller, thinner one. Yeah, I wish I could be taller. I don't really need to be thinner. I <laughs> wish I was taller. I wish I was a ballpark. All right. Right. And like, can we please make these cocktails? <laughs> <laughs> this fax pad is going to be seven hours long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like, do. Yeah, especially I got this blue stuff drip. It's like a the whole, like, it's well, not really. Remember, remember that you're going to put regular ice into the bottom of your cocktail glass. So you're going to fill it up about halfway with regular ice. And then you're going to put, yep, and then you're going to put your blue ice on top of that. Um, if you are making this cocktail for someone else, I highly recommend not using your hands. Um, but since I'm the only person who's going to drink this. <laughs> you could use gloves. I mean, that would be okay. Yeah, gloves are a great idea. And, and don't dress up for this either. I wasn't able to get the tea in time, so I have blue food coloring. Well, that is must be nice. Alternative one? Is blue food coloring a good alternative one? Uh, no, actually. So for this, you definitely want to use the butterfly pea flowers. And you can see the mess that I've made now. Um, <laughs> because, uh, what there's a special Looking ingredient good. in them that actually is going to allow them to react with the other ingredients that we're putting in and color change. So that's why we use this specifically instead of blue food coloring. Yeah, mine okay. definitely will not taste well, good. I need but... to put blue ice on top of this ice. Okay. Yeah. I have another question, if that's okay. Yes. Okay. Um, so. You, so reaction, right? How, is there a reaction in terms of alcohol versus non-alcoholic for this specific drink? No. Or I'm gonna, no, but. You can absolutely make this drink with alcohol. So you could add vodka or gin or, you, know, you could add whiskey that might be a little bit strange. Um, you could add tequila for this cocktail. Um, I would stick probably to the light spirits because basically what we're making is like a, uh, a lemon fizz. 
sort of. Um, and we're building it in the glass, and the lemon is actually what's gonna interact with the blue uh, color of the pea flowers and make it churn colors. Um, and you'll see that in just a second once Nika's well, done it's adding her really ice bad in this bag. <laughs> it's like, I'm not gonna lie. What's frozen? So I'm trying to find the smaller chunks because it looks like I didn't stomp it appropriately. So I got these massive chunks and then these weird chunks. All right. It, should I fill it like two? Is this two fill? Is no, two? that's perfect. That looks okay. great because you're like right at the top, right? Uh, sure. Perfect. Oh All right. <laughs> All right, don't worry, I'm back. <laughs> and, and apparently the earth has also revolved once. <laughs> All right, what's next, Lynn? All right, next, I'm on task. <laughs> next, we're gonna do an ounce of simple syrup. Um, now this cocktail is definitely to your taste. So if you're the kind of person, I know Anya mentioned when we were talking about making her cocktail that she doesn't like very sweet cocktails. So if you're that kind of person who doesn't like sweet, I'd just say dial it back a little bit. You don't have to exactly follow this to the T. It's very so much how much important. are we putting? We're gonna do one ounce. Is this an ounce? It's like one shot glass count as an ounce. We'll call that a part. A lot of times shot glasses are not exactly an ounce, but as long as you're consistent, that'll be fine. That doesn't feel right. So you're saying so far as our jipping shot fires. No. Oh, okay, I don't know. My no, bad. what I'm saying is that the shot glasses that you buy in the store, especially the ones that are like Dallas, Texas, or yeah. like, you know, Boston, like they're not one ounce, two ounce shot glasses. A lot of times they're more than that. Pee. What? That's, but I've never been there. So anyway, all right. It says things on it. So I just pulled this out of my quarantine buddy's cabinet. Okay. Well, now what do I do? Okay, now you're gonna take your lemon juice and you're gonna watch this. So I'm actually gonna change to our close-up camera here so that everybody oh, can see it. Camera? What? You're I fancy. Do. I'll just go back to my mole people stance. Hold on. All right. <laughs> All right, so bring it as close to the camera as you can and you're going okay. to pour your lemon juice over the top of it and we're gonna see right. a color change. And, I'm right. and I'll readjust my camera. I'm, I'm just here to do the camera work of the people, you know, like what people who aren't fancy and unable. Oh, I can multitask. Right, see how that like blue goopy ring? You can't ruin all my... see it from the, the camera. <laughs> I'm like, I'm looking at the camera. It's purple in the middle and I, and at the bottom and I can't, yours is better. What do how I do? How much lemons? One part. Okay. Yup. One part. Do it. Do I do it? Should I do it like this? Yeah. Can you see it? Yes. It's, okay, I hope I don't spill this on my keyboard. Ew! Oh, shiz! It changes color! Mine didn't, mine didn't change. What? Because you you're not using butterfly paper? That's so cool! Oh, wow. oh look at that! Oh, can you see? Can see it a little bit better. Oh, I really wish I, I had I real stuff. That was awesome! That was, that was my mind. That was cool. It's like a weird Rick and Moody experiment, but it's, you know, we're, but we're already in the blind forest. Okay, I, am, I being, I'm, am I too excited about this? No, no, I'm oh, loving your excitement. Reactions are, I mean, oh. I'm sad because you can't oh, see it on the camera. It all again. just looks blue. It is very I purple on yours. Lost my marbles. <laughs> <laughs> I was not, I was not. I honestly was not ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I was just gonna be like, oh, you can see this tiny little yeah, thing. No, like it's like, really different. Animal, and I was like, well, it's a pandemic and I don't, where else am I going? <laughs> uh, who else am I showering for? Oh my God. <laughs> I know, it's really sad. But that's so cool, okay. But it does, it looks like a cool science experiment. And now what do I do? Now you're gonna top it with either Sprite or soda water. It's your preference. Um, Oh, and actually, okay, I wonder if you guys can see it with a little bit better now, because uh, it's got more space for the colors. Lynn, how much, how much would a drink like this cost if we were to just like order it at a bar? Um, $34? I mean, this little mocktail, there's no alcohol in it, but you know, the pea flowers are, are kind of like, if you, I was running a bar, I'd be like, oh, I don't want to order this stuff from Amazon all the time and have to make it. And there's, there's work associated with that. Um, 
I don't know. I, I would probably, in, in Milwaukee, two things are cheaper, so I'd probably charge around like $5 for something like this, five, six dollars. But if I was in like, I don't know, New York City, where you're fancy from, <laughs> I'd probably be like, look at this color changing cocktail, $20, please. Yeah. <laughs> like, I would anticipate $22 for something like this in New York yeah. City. Yay. Do I mix it, Lynn? Yeah, swirl it around a little bit. Because you want to get the, the flavors all throughout the entire drink. I took a sip of it and it was really sour and like, uh-oh. Yeah, you probably got all of the lemon juice. I did. And remember, you can also add more simple syrup too if you want. So This was so cool, baby. Mm -hmm. This is a good I lesson in appropriate ingredients. <laughs> this is terrible. But <laughs> I made it really wrong <laughs> and I didn't use pea flour. With this blue food coloring. <laughs> this tastes good too. It's weird. I'm glad you like it. Yay. What is it? Want pea flour now. What does it taste like, Nika? Great question. So it tastes like. No, close a... your eyes and tell me. Okay, hold on, hold on. I can't do it without laughing. Imagine it's... you're in the blind forest. <laughs> yeah, so it, you're in the... Shh, it tastes the like um. It tastes like uh. You know those like sweet and sour jelly candies. But it doesn't taste candy esque. Like, it's not like, oh. it's a candy. It's like the first taste of it when you put a sweet and sour candy thing that's the dummy ones mm. in your mouth, but before all the things that happen after the moment. That's a really good description. I like that's that. Okay, right? <laughs> I know exactly what you're saying. So, yeah. 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 Like, before you bite into it, just like right when it's in your mouth. But then it's the feeling that stays in your mouth for a lot longer. Mm. Yes. Nope, I'm totally with you. This is refreshing. Is it, an, is it a nice umami? What's, what's an umami? Umami is like, um, it's usually used for meat, <laughs> but sometimes in cocktails. Uh, like that, that, how do you describe umami? It's like, because you got what, sweet, sour, bitter, uh, old, and umami. Something borrowed, something blue. Something, yep, something, yeah, yeah. yeah. So all the flavor uh, <laughs> quadrants. Are, they, are your lips turning blue? Are my lips turning blue? I, do, I got a straw. Green. I got a straw first, so that goes like back of the mouth. Perfect. Avoid all teeth, vessels, you name it. I wonder if it turns your pee blue. Tune in for our second panel where we do a follow up. Yeah, Here's what's happening on the desk line. Yeah, beats, Live from the desk. Is just a, this is because I'm not a fancy bar person, but this is happening right now. So. Oh, that's a mess. Yeah, so if we want to move on to the next cocktail, <laughs> I'm going to be uh, cleaning up in a minute. All right. You want to donate to Nika's new desk budget? Right. Ben right. me at dash nor Thanks, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to bring up the ingredients for the Um, I, I think maybe if we go through them together, because I did a couple alterations, so I can kind of explain kind of my thought process behind, like, I wasn't able to get this, but I was able to get this instead. All right, so, um, and yeah, if you don't have the ingredients that we're looking for in this, Anya is gonna show you, kind of like when you watch a workout video and there's like two people doing different modifications. Yeah. These are Anya's modifications of these cocktails. <laughs> so, um, all right, so we are doing a twist on a Paloma. Um, so it's gonna be a very spicy Paloma. Um, we both, I think, have the jalapeno infused tequila. Am I right? Yes, this is mine. It's turned quite green because I used very cheap Trader Joe's tequila that has been with me for eight years in about five different apartments. That's, <laughs> that is like commitment. You are committed to taking that bottle from apartment yeah. to apartment. <laughs> it's like this weird thing that's just been with me for a really long time. You know? That's... That's fine. Well, today we get to use it, so I'm happy for that. I have only been able to find these Minnesota jalapenos. <laughs> so, 
So I, I, I mean, I did soak it, but I don't know how much it added. <laughs> Jerry's over there making a, a, not a, a Paloma, but a, a Bloody Mary, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Oh, my God. Mine did not turn nearly as dark as yours, Anya. I don't know where you got your jalapenos, but mine, I did it for about 24 hours. It's still pretty easy to see through it. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if it's like a mirage effect or something. I also just, in terms of like reusing things that are in your apartment or in your in your vicinity, these are old, um, I save all the glass jars that we buy, right? So like you can see all of these. I save everything because I don't want to buy um, <laughs> extra storage. Like I don't want to have to spend the money. I'm like, well, I have them. Why not just save all of them? So I have like, uh, I don't know if you can see, but even here, all my tea is sort of in like little glass jars that I cut up the bags and then throw the bags away because the tea bag is actually a plastic in them. So... The whole thing. That's awesome. That's very, uh, that's very earth friendly. I love it. I try. <laughs> All right. So our next uh, ingredient is grapefruit juice. Were you able to get grapefruit juice? So I was not able to get grapefruit juice, but um, I know that the recipe also calls for club soda. So I feel like I found a second best alternative, which is actually grapefruit club soda. Yes. Um, full moon. Mm. Yum. Dangerous game you're playing. I'm playing a very dangerous game. <laughs> I'm, I'm just happy because I love grapefruit club soda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've got grapefruit club soda. Um, all right, fine. I will admit it. I wasn't able to get grapefruit juice either. I don't know. Is there like a shortage on grapefruits right now? Uh, leave a message That's down the below. last one. <laughs> yeah, Jerry, can you transfer your juice through the... <laughs> Give me a <laughs> Give me we're right in here, Jerry. Right there. Yeah. Squirt, squirt. Um, so I'm actually going to use some mango juice, uh, which Same has dip. a little bit of tartness to it. So we're going to make all sorts of things today. This is going to be exciting. Don't spare drink that it changed colors, too. No. Yours was the only one that did change colors. You were special. Right. <laughs> uh, this one has lime juice and simple syrup. We have I both. have um, this because I couldn't find lime at my local grocery store, but they just have the little lime thing. Yeah. So, and then I do have simple syrup. However, my uh, neighbors and very good friends uh, are big into cocktails. Actually, Sarah is filming a cocktail video right now. She's been doing cocktail videos for all of quarantine called um, Quarantinis. Um, her on YouTube. Uh, but she made this uh, lemongrass simple syrup. So I thought oh, awesome. this is kind of an interesting flavor profile too. So yeah. this is gonna get real weird and I'm really excited. <laughs> Our right. Anya's store has run out of grapefruit and limes. Okay. I've got her questions. Are we half? surprised? Like with what's going on in the world, we're like, oh, there's no more grapefruits anymore. Okay, yeah. well, yeah. The that's... new recipe for quarantine cocktails is yeah. whatever. <laughs> it's what you have in your house. You can make your cocktail at home. We do not have the ingredients listed. Is it edible? Sure. I, maybe. I we'll actually, find out if I'm alive tomorrow. <laughs> I love this, though, because, like, usually when, I, like your friend, I do cocktail videos, and usually when I'm doing them, I try and give suggestions, but you never know what people are just going to find in their homes and be like, I'm going to use this thing instead. And so now we get to see how this is going to turn out. This is fantastic. I'm so excited. I also have this spicy uh, tagine. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Yep. Oh. I have curry powder. <laughs> what is curry I quit. <laughs> oh my god. This is perfect. I love Jerry's participation in this. Sorry, I'm still trying to save the desk, so... <laughs> I will not be participating in this round. That's fine. All right, we're going to start with uh, whatever glass you have lying around, and we're going to rim the glass. If you want to get fancy with this, one thing I've learned, I saw this on another YouTube cocktail video, um, you can take a little bit of simple syrup and you can paint down the side of the glass, like straight down, and then you roll your... Uh, your glass in it, and then like it just looks really fancy in, cocktail, in oh. cocktail photos. So if you want to do that, uh, 
Why do I have the sudden feeling like Jerry's going to try and like make art on the side of his, his drink and it's going to be like <laughs> this beautiful disaster of curry powder? <laughs> so, okay, so how do I actually rim the glass? Do I just, do I have to put liquid around it or? Yeah, so there's several ways of doing this. Um, you can take a lime wedge, you don't have that, that's fine. You could put lime in a small like dish uh, okay. like this and then take your glass and then just kind of touch it to the top um, with the with the lime juice coating the top like portion of it. Okay. Um, this one, what I'm doing is with the, the paintbrush, so you could even just paint it on the top of the glass like so. Like you, this way you could do more exact where you want it. I have oh, an idea no. what to do here. So since I have this, I had curry powder, I guess, clumped at the top, so there is a lot of curry powder. <laughs> I'm just going to eat my butterfly pea flowers as a snack while I watch Jerry try to use a celery stick as a jalapeno. This is, <laughs> this is a beautiful disaster, and I am so here for it. And I'm going to put the right. added chips. Cool. Let's pay attention to Anya, because that window seems like she knows what she's doing. Anya's going to do exactly what she needs to. Okay, I'm going to take, take the glass. Yep. I'm going to... Ooh. Okay. Is that curry... Did you use curry powder to rim the glass, Jerry? I, yeah. What, that's I thought you I... were joking. That's disgusting. <laughs> mm. Is it? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I did it. See, Anya, that looks beautiful. I made it work. This looks beautiful. No, Jerry, get out of here. See, do what Lynn's doing. Go get some glassware from the internet. <laughs> Jerry is trying his best. Let's be nice to Jerry. He's oh, out don't. there on his porch in the sweltering heat, putting curry powder on a glass just so he can be involved. I am so okay with this. I get the participation ribbon, whether you like it or not, Nika. <laughs> rest of this segment is Nika picks You're sitting there just eating, like, pea flowers like they're corn nuts. It was $30. It's got to have oh some, God. like, awesome situation for you. You're going to start a new hipster snack trend. It's literally. I, I mean, it's this stuff better make my skin glow. Or turn blue, one of the two. <laughs> All right, so next step for our cocktail for Dragon Age is going to be to grab something to shake with, anything. Um, so I'm going to use a two-part shaker. Uh, Jerry's got a Boston shaker. All right, Anya's got one. If you don't have this um, protein shaker, you know, like the, with the lid, that works good too, um, or a mason jar, whatever you can find. Uh, and then we're going to start building our cocktail in here. Um, so the original recipe calls for two ounces of tequila, so let's start there because I know we have that ingredient in common at least, and then we'll deviate from there. Okay. And so I have my, my little skull shot glass. Yes. And so two of these. Yep. Hold on. While Anya's doing that, I'm going to bring up our ingredients. Not so simple, is it? Hmm. Keep going, Jerry. Mass, mass. Well, a little bit more. Oh. I mean, what's it gonna hurt? Jerry, I have the same one. <laughs> Buddy! <laughs> Don Julio, yeah. the tequila of cheap king. Like only a tiny bit left. Well, now it's fine. I'll That's go. fine. <clears throat> Use what you got. Perfect. Yeah, that's like what Anya's doing. Makes me sense. Two in here. All right. So then we've got one ounce of grapefruit juice, or I would hold off on yours. Um, I because yours is going to be. Let's do the rest of it because you're going to shake this part, and I don't think you're going to want to shake the. Soda water. You're gonna shake all the bubbles out of it. So you're gonna skip this one. Um, I'm going to do my mango juice. I have just a tiny bit of lime juice left, so I might just put it in there. Okay, just toss it. See what happens. We gotta see the, you doing the it though, Anya. 
You gotta bring your camera down and, and get and get under your table and squirrel and just hope everyone can go. This this her. last grapefruit on earth is very good. I'm oh, well, sure. <laughs> Are you hand squeezing this? Like Jerry's really doing work here. Yeah, That's Jerry's awesome. doing work. He's also using a celery as a jalapeno. For the viewers at home, please don't use celery as jalapeno. That's a Minnesota jalapeno. We can't handle the sponge. <laughs> We're, a, All right, we're, then we're gonna do people. Once Jerry's got his his actual oh. cocktail, like technically Jerry's gonna be the closest to yeah. the cocktail. <laughs> Mine has chunks in it. Though. No, he's using curry powder. We don't support this. Uh, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice is our next ingredient, and Anya's gonna end up doing a little bit more because you added the other lime juice. So add more lime juice to your lime juice. That's probably fine. Exactly. If you don't have, if you don't have a, a measure, just kind of estimate. Um, and then the next one is going to be half an ounce of uh, simple syrup. If you're using like a regular shot glass, just fill it halfway then. All right. Then chunks. we're going to take this and fill, uh, if you're using a two-part shaker, um, what I like to do is take the other side, fill it to about here with ice and then dump this one into the top of it. So how, how much ice? About here? Yep. Perfect. Let me add the ice, sorry. Thanks. I think I drank too much tea flour. Are you feeling this? Yeah, it's feeling kind of like, mm, I don't know. We're gonna find anyway, out what pea flour does to people in large doses now. All right. So anyway. then once you've got your ingredients together in your shaker, you're going to take that top part and you're going to slam it down into it. Um, and you should be able to actually pick up, Jerry, this won't be true with yours because yours is a three part. Yep, you're going to want to keep your hand on that. Um, okay, Anya, same thing. Keep your hand on it and then just shake the heck out of it. Some bartenders in training over here. This is amazing. <laughs> Gary's doing it one handed, and so I've got, I don't know. Can you help me? Can you not I'm open it? I'm just bringing in a celebrity guest. Bringing a celebrity in. I Can you get sound effects for the shakers? I'm happy to chime in. Okay. <laughs> Can you get the if your shaker does get stuck, oh, or if your camera happens to fall off of where you had it anchored to the ceiling, uh, right. you can just hit it on something. <laughs> or somebody uh, walks in and forgets that there's a live recording. I got no shirt. I got no shirt. I got no shirt, but that's okay. People they don't want to serve me in restaurants, but I can't go to them anyway. Accidents happen. We're in the house. We're shaking stuff, and there's a mouse. Ding, okay, ding, so ding, ding. Part is in here. You're gonna, uh, <laughs> yep. You're gonna pour it into your glass, and then you're gonna add a little bit of ice. Okay. And then top it with your fizzy water of choice. Where did I put my fizzy water, you guys? Oh, who's got it? Yeah. Who's what? And if you have a straw, probably a good idea to give this a spin um, before you go and drink it. And that's it. So spicy Paloma, called the Well of Sorrows. This is definitely a sorrowful drink. My metal straw. I'm looking at, yeah, I'm looking. Are you using the celery as the straw? Technically, it isn't celery tubular. Ooh, that is spicy. Yeah, is it? I'm jealous. Yours looks good. Mm. Uh, not Jerry's. Ooh. <laughs> Jerry, so there's spicy. no spicy. It's hot. Lynn's looks beautiful. Thank you. Yay. Anya, yours looks like the one I would want to drink. 
I think the curry's fine. It's delicious. I like. You're not even drink. You're not even tasting the curry. It's on the rim. You're I'm drinking licking the, the rim. Use the sho- shovel, your Minnesota jalapeno, and scoop it out. Just <laughs> scoop it out. There you go. Fantastic. Do it. This scoop is scoop awesome. I really like. Scoop it out. I really like how the salt on the rim kind of balances out how spicy it is. Um, because you've got a lot of flavors going on in here. Yeah. Um, I don't I don't know how this would be without the the little bit of sweet. So I mean, but Anya, you said you didn't like sweet drinks anyway. I like sweet. Perfect. Yeah, it's got a little salty, a little spicy. There, I don't taste any sweet, so it's perfect for me. Yay. I would say that like I'm curious to know how it tastes with the mango, actually, because I feel like that's a relatively sweet fruit, so. Um, it didn't come through a whole lot because I actually, I was trying to recreate about the acidity of grapefruit juice, so I added a little bit of lime juice to it. Um, so it's kind of like a background noise flavor, um, where you can taste it, but it's not overpowering. So I like it. Uh. Jerry, oh, he went away. I want to know how the uh, I'm how still the, here though. How the curry powder work out? How does how does curry powder balance out this this drink? I think curry is delicious on everything. I think it's great on steak, on fish, on ice cream, on drinks. What isn't it good for? Jerry, where'd you go? <laughs> oh, I am getting this. I'm getting this special ice oh. to prepare for my. Oh, Thanks. yeah, I'm going to pull up. I want to see the ingredients. So I'm going to try to participate in Jerry's, well, where I will run back and forth from the kitchen and also use ingredients from around the house. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to pull a Jerry, but I'm going to put it in this vessel glass. It's going to be awesome because I feel pretty sick from my drink. Mostly because I kept <laughs> eating pea flowers. It was not a good idea. Uh, note to people at home, don't chop on those. It's corn nuts because you get a bellyache. <laughs> I wonder right. if my sides are blue. Uh, so let's see. I want to see how your ice cubes turned out, Jerry. Jerry and you I. See did... Go ahead. All right. Dun, 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 dun. I should point out you actually can't see it now, but um, this is the layers of fear two cup. Ooh. appropriate video game. I love it. Oh, wow. Yours are very red. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. So what Jerry and I did was, oh, well, mine didn't quite freeze all together. Um, so we made, <laughs> I have half an ice cube here with a cherry in the middle. We made cherry ice cubes. Um, I made four of them, though. So some, one of the other ones maybe turned out better. Um, some of them I added extra cherry juice to to create more of a red effect. Some of them I did not. I just put a cherry in the ice cube. Um, yeah, I, I forgot to do just that. I used a lot of cherry juice in each one. And that looks really cool. So your effect is probably going to look better than mine did. Um, but these are melting super fast. I know you are outside. So let's try and make your cocktail as quick as possible so we can... It. Show it off. All right, so Jerry's cocktail calls for two ounces of gin. I just got to dump out my cocktail shaker here. Normally, I would rinse this out, but I'm in my right. basement, so I don't have that ability. All right, Nika. I'm going to participate in this one now that, and I'm still reusing my blue ice. Two, so. two ounces of gin. Yep, two ounces of gin. <laughs> We have to Ooh. shake things in this drink too. You will have to shake things, yes. Okay, I'm gonna use a different type of shaking mechanism. Perfect. A leg? Oh, I forgot sugar. I bet I could hold a shaker with my feet and shake it. Do we all want to see? Do it, that? do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, Lindsay. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. It's cool. All right. Half an ounce Remind of lemon me juice. When we get to that. Half, half an ounce? Half an ounce of lemon juice. Okay. All right. the eye of the lemon. Please. 
We're gonna do half an ounce of not not grapefruit juice. Hold on, I'm still on the lemon. Can I substitute I with pomegranate oh, molasses? Oh. Yes. Sorry, what was the question? Can I substitute grapefruit juice since it's out of stock all over the world with pomegranate molasses? Yeah. Why not? You that seems like an obvious <laughs> bit. I mean, I'm just here to do what Lynn says. The cocktail person in me is like, that's nowhere near as, as close to it, because that's going to be a lot sweeter. Uh, it's going to have a totally different flavor to it. But the person Oopy. who just wants to see what happens is like, yes, do it. <laughs> this is Farsi for those who are interested in other languages. Amazing. Great. Great. What else is there? All right. So we had uh, your grapefruit juice, your lemon juice, half an ounce of each. On the lemon still. All right. That feels like a half an ounce now. The first one, I just didn't feel like I got there. Yeah. Perfect. I'm just okay. squeezing lemons until you tell me to stop. Oh, goodness. Keep going. Okay. All right. Second. Here we go. Uh, oh. For everybody else that's moving on, we're going to do three quarters of an ounce of St. Germain. Can I stop squeezing the lemons? Or? No. I don't know how much. I can't tell how much you've got there. Absolutely not. All the lemons that were left in my kitchen. And now we will have a lemon shortage. I'm just going to sit oh here and drink. Oh, my God. This is a juicy like grapefruit. Three. Anya, can we see your drink? How's yours coming along? Yeah, I, I poured a little more in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she yeah, she's still enjoying her cocktail. That's fair. also good tip for making cocktails like this. Have a finger bowl. Oh, that is a good tip. <laughs> so you're not so sticky all the time? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you just have a finger bowl laying around? Because... I'm the kind of person that always got sticky fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Can I stop <laughs> eating lemons or? No. I'm still. Do you have thinking. a half an? Oh my gosh! Yes, you can stop juicing lemons. <laughs> stop right, listening so we're to done me. with the lemons. Okay. All right. I did grapefruit. Perfect. We've got so going right. back down these with two ounces of gin, half an ounce of lemon juice, half an ounce of grapefruit juice or pomegranate if you're going to use pomegranate. Uh, three quarters of an ounce of St. Germain. Yes. yes. I'm substituting alcohol with this energy drink I found in my fridge. Hell yeah. Amazing. This is a Celsius yeah. I found on the internet. Is it a Celsius? It, it is. It's a Celsius. Those are so good. Are they? Okay. Well, that's my alcohol. I like to, I like to drink those before I work out. Do they actually give you energy? A little bit. Hey, no, I'm ready. Gonna... Yeah, sorry. Back to Jerry's. <laughs> Jerry's like, all right, come on, come on. I want to drink my cocktail. Uh, then we're going to do a quarter ounce of simple syrup. So just a very tiny amount. Uh, I'm running out of mine, so I'm going to put more pomegranate molasses. Perfect. Do it. Right. Uh, then we're up to the bitters. So this recipe calls for orange bitters. Um, if you don't have orange bitters, I, you could try using Angostura bitters, which tends to have a lot of orange notes to it. Um, otherwise, you could just take the orange peel uh, and you could put that in there. That'd be okay. Um, How much bitter is ounce? No, God, no, please don't put an ounce. <laughs> bitters is like spices. You want to add just uh, two to four drops, um, depending. Uh, two to four drops, depending on your, your right. level of what you like. You need to count me out. Okay. One. Good. Two. Three. Ah, uh, ah, uh, should, uh. should we stop or do we go all the way to four? Keep knowing. Your, it's your turn, so you have to have a good drink. I'm substituting. Oh. I don't have I'll bitters, so I'm three. substituting. I'll take three. Yeah, three. Yeah. I'm right, substituting my mode. bitters with lime juice and then using bitter energy as I pour it in. So I'm ooh, mad nice. at somebody. Boo. I don't know. <laughs> Or you should find, like, a bitter author and dip their foot in it. What? Anyway, a... what? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so then in the other side of your shaker tin here, you do that same thing with ice up to about here. And then you're going to pour your other ingredients, shake the heck out of it. 
I will be using a blender bottle. Yay! <laughs> oh, don't do the don't. It's fizzy. It's not good. It exploded. Where is the top? Oh yeah, there it is. Mika, you added energy drink to yours. I don't recommend that you shake anything <laughs> fizzy ever. Well, I'm gonna. This is not good, guys. That <laughs> <laughs> it could use a little spray powder. No. Yeah. Uh oh, it's exploding. Don't. Yeah, um, I'm not gonna open this. <laughs> Is anyone else watching, Jerry? Yes. Oh, we are. The good thing this chair is springy. Um, hey, so do not shake carbonated beverages in blender bottle. That is very good advice. Woo! I'm, we're here to, I'm here to learn everything the hard way. Then. All right. What's with now. Now you're going to strain ice that into your cocktail glass over your beautiful ice cube, which I forgot to add in until the last second, so I'm going to end up dropping that in. All right, so I'll put that in first. Put it over the blue stuff. Blue blue cubes back business. Gross. So, Whoa. Got blue okay. all over. All right, so I've got my glass with my special Bourbon cherry ice cube. Oh, that looks great. That really does. Look at it dance. Yeah, that does look good. Pretty. I, I'm really loving Jerry's presentation on this one. This is fantastic. And? Bloop. And a straw. Where did you go? Pro what? tip, if you are squeezing lemons, don't forget the lemon seeds. See, look, it's just like control where everything is kind of hazy and weird and then... Da, 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 da. I'm a hiss. Ooh. How many lemon seeds do lemons have? Eight. <laughs> I think there's more oh. lemon seeds in this other mocktail. That's because they're stealing from other lemons. Oh, they are. There's no drink. Have you tried it yet, Jerry? Oh, I just did, like, forgetting that I... What does yours taste like? It's supposed to be. And it's quite nice. Um, I'm a big fan of elderflower, actually, especially with gin. Uh, there's a number of different cocktails I like making with it. Um, so I think it goes really great together. And I'm actually really excited for the uh, cherry syrupy ice cube to melt a little bit and zap it with a, a a little change in flavor. You're a wizard, Jerry. Actually, and the grapefruit is quite nice because I like, so I'm not big on sweet either, and I really love the flavor of elderflower, but it is very sweet, so you have to kind of be careful with the amount and balance it with other stuff. So the, the citrus, lemon's really good, and... Actually, I, I'm a fan of bitter things, and grapefruit has a nice bitter note to it. So, I'm glad you Down. like it. Yay. Yeah. Uh, I love this. This is a really good. It's nice to hear these things from other people. Um, elderflower, for anyone who's not familiar with it, is uh, the main note in Saint Germain. Um, this is often referred to as bartender's ketchup because you can mm. add it to just about anything and it will taste good. Um, but like Jerry said, you absolutely need to be very um, cautious about how much you add because it is a very sweet note. So again, we only use, what was it, like a, a three quarters of an ounce, not even a full yeah. ounce of it in here. I, I agree with you. I think it complements things really nicely. I wonder if once your cherry ice cube melts, will that make it more, uh, make it too sweet? You know, if so, you might, know. you might, uh, it is already changing colors a little bit. It, it is. It's getting pink. So cool. It changes um, color. Also, <laughs> for the budget conscious, there is, uh, it's not St. Germain brand, but there's another elderflower liquor that has a less fancy bottle, but tastes almost the same and is half the price yeah so if you if it's something you want to keep around and stuff i go for the cheaper stuff it's almost identical we did a side-by-side -side taste test once and you could tell but to me it wasn't enough to care about that's like bailey's too everyone buys bailey's because it's the brand name 
Um, yeah. And not, I, I hope PAX is not sponsored by Bailey's, but I think it's <laughs> it's highly overpriced. I make my own, uh, you know, alcoholic chocolate milk or whatever it is. Yeah. Yay. Um, and for the other Curry. ingredients that we used, if anybody's interested, I used Hendrix. What kind of gin did you use, Jerry? Uh, I used uh, some Bombay Sapphire. Perfect. So let me get very my clean, here. very nice gin. Uh, Hendrix is very cucumbery. It's so it, it's got a very refreshing flavor. I'm not huge on the flavor of cucumber itself, but I do think that Hendrix works very nicely with uh, with, with good cocktails. Absolutely. Yeah, and Anya's uh, tequila. Oh, wow. I have never seen that one before. From Trader Joe's. Oh. Well, and yours Getting was... very red. And for my mocktail friends at home, just pop open a club soda and tell people it's gin. We had two, we had two <laughs> color changing drinks. And we didn't okay. even, like, that was like bonus color changing. We didn't even expect bonus it to. Bonus color. I do want to show this bottle my husband just brought home. Uh, he works in wine and sometimes they have liquor. But this is a uh, rosemary and lavender uh, flavored vodka. Ooh. Oh, wow. You can my, put rosemary and lavender in your club soda and call it vodka. My wife and I make rosemary simple syrup. Oh. And that with gin and fresh lemon juice. It needs to be fresh lemon juice, none of the plastic bottle stuff. So good. It's so good. The the rosemary is such a great herb or herb if you're from the UK. Lemons. For for I forgot what I was saying, but it's really good. My neighbor's uh oh. she makes a lot of uh, simple so infused simple syrup and she's making one right now which is a Szechuan pepper infused mm -hmm. simple syrup. That sounds amazing. Yeah, so we're gonna probably use it in a couple days. Love it. Yeah, yeah, and if for anybody who wants to make a simple syrup, simple syrups are one to one sugar to water ratio, or you can do two to one, so two parts sugar, one part water, um, for a more sugary kick to it. Um, I tend to use the one to one ratios, but then you can add whatever flavors you want. One of my favorites is lavender. You can buy lavender petals, food grade lavender petals on Amazon, uh, or from you know your local. Uh, like maybe like a Whole Foods or, or more high-end grocery store, or you could just you know uh, grow them in your backyard or, or in your flower garden. Uh, and you just take those and you uh, make a tea out of them, just like what we did with Nika's cocktail, uh, and then put the sugar into it, dissolve, and there you go. Simple syrups are highly underrated in day-to-day -day use. You can add them to coffee, you can add them to soda water, you can make a very weird mocktail with <laughs> your energy drinks. Uh, but yeah, absolutely, you can do a lot with them and I think a lot of people at home can find new fun ways to do things like that, like your friend Anya who's doing, uh, mm -hmm. who's making, I'm sorry, what kind of pepper was it again? Uh, Szechuan pepper. Uh, so cool. Yeah, and then this is her lemongrass. So. Hmm. Awesome. Uh, any last questions before we wrap up? And I don't recommend using three lemons in your drink. I didn't realize you were using three whole lemons. Um, I said, let me know when to stop. I challenge Lynn to come up with a drink where a curry rim is delicious. With a curry rim with three lemons. And a Szechuan. Three lemons. No. And a Szechuan. What was it? And a spicy Szechuan. celery stick. I I could probably Szechuan. use yes. all of those ingredients, but not in the amounts that you are calling for. And that's the challenge. Okay, this is not. Uh, this this panel was not. What is that? That uh, cooking class where they give you like a pile of really bad ingredients, and they're like. Rachel Ray. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you all for being here and thank you for making cocktails with me. Um, I hope that we were able to uh, bring some of the flavors of your flavors of your game together. Um, and I hope that you enjoyed them. So, or learned something. Yay. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. This is super fun. Look how red it is. Follow along with uh, what we're doing. And um, I hope everyone was, you know, got a lot of great ideas on things you can do without grapefruit.
<laughs> cheers, everybody. All right. Cheers. Thank cheers. you. Thanks, Lynn.